I am Dr. K. M. Bopana, consultant neurosurgeon at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. I head the department of neurosurgery. My special interests are in pediatric neurosurgery, epilepsy surgery, cerebrovascular surgery, and tumor neurosurgery. At Manipal Hospital, we have one of the oldest modern neurosurgical departments, and we've been helping over 1,200 cases every year for the, almost the last three decades. We believe in using the latest technology and techniques and our advanced operative training to optimize outcomes in the most challenging of brain and spinal neurosurgical disorders. Hi, I am Dr. Manjana. I am a consultant neurologist and a movement disorder specialist. I practice at Manipal Hospital, Old Airport Road, Bangalore. We do provide exclusive clinical services for Parkinson's disease and related various movement disorders. We believe in teamwork. We have exclusively DBS team comprising a neurosurgeon, a psychologist, psychiatrist and physical medicine and rehabilitation expert. We also provide botulinum toxin therapy for various movement disorders with an excellent outcome. We believe in team practice for better comprehensive health care. Hello everybody, I am Dr. Sathvika Shetty. I am a neurosurgeon at Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, as, a par as a neurosurgeon, my job entails uh, working on various complex brain and spine uh, pathologies. I also subspecialize in endoscopic skull base surgery and uh, deep brain stimulation for uh, movement disorders, especially Parkinson's disease. Uh, deep brain stimulation uh, is, uh, or uh, DBS as we call it, it's used for uh, various movement disorders like essential tremors, dystonias, but the most common indication is for Parkinson's disease. And uh, uh, the technique involves placing uh, electrodes in certain specific areas of the brain and stimulating them. Sometimes the targets are as uh, small as uh, 0.2 cc in a 1400 cc of brain. So this requires us to be very precise in our planning and very precise, extremely precise during surgery too. So we have various specialized equipments like uh, stereotactic frames with uh, sub-millimeter accuracy and uh, computer uh, neural navigation systems which help us in achieving this accuracy and being very precise during this surgery. Uh, DBS helps patients in controlling their symptoms and uh, thereby uh, helping them improve their quality of life. And uh, I'm happy to note that in Manipal we have been able to help these patients uh, uh, get better and improve their uh, overall quality of life. I am Dr. Ullas Acharya, working as a neuroradiologist here in Manipal Hospital. So my area of expertise is both in neuroimaging as well as neurointerventions. We as a team are well equipped uh, to handle both uh, emergency as well as elective procedures. In the diagnostic setup, we have state-of-the-art machines including one 1.5 and one 3 Tesla MRI machines. So in the 3 Tesla MRI machine, we have an in-bore uh, ambient experience technology which helps to comfort the patient as the scan is going around. As well as this helps even for the pediatric patients because they have different themes of cartoons going around which soothes the effect and hence we can acquire a very good images with their cooperation. Also in addition we have the state of the art CT machine which we have is 128 slice CT through which we are able to do good vascular imaging. Uh, we have advanced imaging technologies uh, such as the uh, depic depiction of the chemical constituents of the brain tumors using MR spectroscopy as well as to grade the tumors using MR perfusion techniques. Also helping in pre-operative uh, imaging in the form of having fiber tracking and the functional activations of the brain uh, in relation to the tumor. So these finally help us to uh, help these neurosurgeons to treat the tumors much better. So in the intervention setup, we have two machines. One is the uh, two cath labs where we perform both elective as well as emergency procedures. We have a very good team uh, which does emergency stroke procedures wherein 
where we enter into the through the artery into the area of the block and remove the block using special stents or aspiration aspirator catheters as well as we do uh, different types of procedures such as stenting uh, the angioplasties as well as the uh, treatment of aneurysms avms preoperative tumor embolizations so as a whole we are as in the neurovascular team we have both diagnostic as well as the intervention setup Hi, I'm Dr. Praveen M. Ganigi, working as a consultant neurosurgeon in Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. My areas of interest is minimal invasive brain and spine surgery, uh, skull based surgery, which includes uh, basically in the endoscopic neurosurgery. Uh, with endoscope, we can treat various disorders. Uh, why endoscopic uh, or minimal invasive brain surgeries? We can treat the various disorders with less uh, disturbance to the normal important structures of the brain and less uh, faster recovery, less, uh, less pain. and some of the areas of the brain uh, where such as skull base where you can with the routine method is difficult to approach we can do with endoscope the what are the conditions we can treat with endoscope is pituitary tumors craniopharyngiomas meningiomas and uh, chordomas and some of the fungal granulomas and of course another disorder is uh, csf rhinorrhea uh, which is nothing but the brain fluid which is leaking from the uh, front part of the skull base where it can address through the nose and seal of that leak and another important structure uh, in disorder we can uh, uh, do with endoscopic neurosurgery is hypertensive deep ganglionic bleeds there is nothing but those who have a high blood pressure which have a bleed inside the deeper part of the brain which can be very well addressed with endoscope and the uh, less retraction so the recovery is faster and uh, less damage to the brain and uh, of course uh, dealing with uh, some of the new born children they are born with uh, already fused skull bones that are called as craniosynostosis which if detected early which can be uh, uh, dealt with uh, endoscopic surgery where we make a smaller incision and cut that bone which has fused early and use a post operatively helmet to mold the shape of the head and uh, other things is a minimal invasive spine surgery where you can do the lot of disorders like discectomy fusions and complex uh, craniovertebral junction surgeries uh, without much uh, uh, problem and pa patient recovers faster with lesser pain